peak. Today I'm going grocery shopping with my friend Estefania. We're moving to Puerto Vallarta and I need to know what prices to expect. Every morning in Topeak, this is what Josh looks like. Are you getting work done? Yes, that's what I do every single morning. I sit in front of the computer for about six hours and I get work done. So when we say work, what are you doing? I have uh, two main things I do. I work on the way away, um, usually our social media and promotion stuff. And then I also have some clients that I work for, um, for actually team management right now is the most of the thing I'm doing. I'm making money for us, yes. That's good. A lot of people ask how we can actually travel. Yes, so technically I am a digital nomad, but I really hate that term because I don't wanna be a digital nomad. I wanna own my own business, but it just takes a while to get there. So for now, I'm helping people with their businesses and eventually I'd like to have my own at some point that it includes more than just me sitting in front of a computer helping other people. It's a long-term goal, but it's going to happen. I know this. So this week, this is what we look like. Working in the mornings pretty much until 1 p.m. and then we go out to do fun things with our friends. Goodbye again. See you. Boys are leaving, staying home. I mean, hasta la vista. They're in charge of the baby. Baby. <laughs> We're off to go shopping. We need some fruits, veggies, and some cheese for this evening's meal and the rest of the week. So we're headed to a little market and a creameria. Like when it's really like soft skin, uh -huh. it's when it's like juicy. And when it's like harsh, it's not that juicy. To find the, the soft ones. Okay, so. soft lines. For yeah. lemons. So in Mexico they call limes lemons. Yeah, <laughs> this is lemon. And also that you need to touch it. It don't be that hard. This is kind of hard. Okay. You feel it? So this is a little more soft. You're gonna feel it. Look at this. Oh yeah, that's really hard. This is another kind, serrano. This is good. Bit for salsas. Super okay. spicy or not very spicy? Ah, uh, well maybe for you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> jicamas are great because this is like water jicamas. There are two different kind of jicamas. But this one, in this, in this season, they are really soft, so it's good. You have to try that. Hola. I'm familiar with apples. Washington State, maybe they come from where I live. Yeah. <laughs> They're from the USA. <laughs> yeah, probably. That is a big kiwi. Whatever. And you can feel like the skin, it's kind of soft. Uh -huh. So it's when it's ready. Did you have one like like this one? Oh, Tell yeah. the difference. This is like hard. Right. And this one is like more soft. Oh yeah, really soft. So this is ready for today. Maybe you're gonna need like wait to four days or three days for this. These are green tomatoes. They're used for salsa. Yeah. And you don't want them to be purple. You want them to be green. It's a little yellow, but it's not bad because we're gonna make salsa, so it doesn't matter. Habanero peppers. I don't think I'll be trying that anytime soon. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I need to warm up. Not to even it. me. No. <laughs> We're getting cactus. I've never cooked with cactus before until this morning when I made eggs. It's super fun to go to those markets. The people who are selling the food are like local farmers, local businesses, and I love that. So how much should we spend on four bags of vegetables and fruit? 200 pesos. 200 pesos, which is $10? Yeah, maybe less than $10. That's that a good deal. That's amazing. I mean, yeah, in the US you would not spend like $10 on all that. It would be more, more maybe 15, 20. I wouldn't even buy a cactus in the US. I don't even know what the price would be. <laughs> <laughs> and the avocado? Avocado is really expensive in the US. You were saying 60 pesos for, for uh, a kilo? Like 40 uh, pesos. Oh, 40 pesos for a kilo. That's like $2.50, less than that. Two bucks? Yeah, I might eat a lot of avocado while I'm here. <laughs> now we're going to the little store. It's kind of like 
like a creameria where we can get like different uh, things, like cheese, fresh cheese. <laughs> Back home, Josh. Look at all these things. Fruits and veggies. I and this is my honest guess. I I think you spent Probably fifteen dollars US. No, more or less. Am I warm? Cold? Damn. Low. Lower? Okay, that's good. Uh, ten bucks. Ding 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 ding. Really? Ten dollars for all the fruits and veggies. Now it's time for lunch. All right, I'm almost done. That's that's a lie. I have the whole editing to do still. <laughs> We have friends coming over tonight and we need to make some food for them. So I'm gonna learn how to make some Mexican food. So we're making your favorite salsa. What are you cutting up and what are you putting in it? This, tomatillos. Uh -huh. They're little green tomatoes, like this. Especially for salsa. We're in the pan. Say adios. We're gonna put onion, red onion, and cilantro. Of course, chili, but that's gonna be later. <laughs> So it wouldn't be Mexican be salsa without chili. Of course, not salsa. <laughs> For this recipe, she's using two different peppers. The little one's chili verde. Yeah, huh? chili verde. And the larger one is a jalapeno. Perfect. Yeah. But she said to make it less spicy, you just take out all the little baby seeds, and then the outside's still spicy. Yeah, a little. But not as yeah, spicy. Yeah, that's not. Great, and then the, the thing with that one. Why should it really cook? Like al al almost like black. <laughs> but you don't need to add water in this kind of salsa. Okay. So you yeah. just spend a little bit, not that much. Make it, make it jump. Make it jump. <laughs> This is after the blender. So then we're gonna add yeah. red onions, yeah, like a lot. Sure. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and then we're gonna cut this. Comment in the comments below if you like the smell of cilantro. I love it. Also let us know if you like spicy salsa. I'm excited. I'm excited to see it. You're always supposed to test your food before you give it to people, right? Just to make sure that they don't die. <laughs> so we'll try this and it's still warm. It's still warm. She promised me it's not spicy. Yeah. Hey, but you know what? Mm. I don't know if you good. It's not spicy. <laughs> I told you. I don't know if you're paying attention. A little bit of spice. <laughs> Just, I told you that. But it's after. Yeah. Mm, I think it's going to be a little. Yeah, yeah. Super good. I can't wait for our friends to come over and then to have our salsa. Now we're making guacamole. Legit Mexican guacamole. These avocados are perfect, right? We just peeled them and took the seeds out. And now she's chopping them up. We're going to make a special guacamole to go along with our special salsa. You're gonna get, you wanna do this? Yeah. <laughs> mm. 
So if you're thinking to yourself, what the heck is that big round green thing inside there? It's the seed. So they say they that say. it will keep the avocado green and not go brown. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I learned a ton of things today. One of them being that I can get a kilo of onions for 75 cents, and a kilo of tomatoes for 50 cents, and avocados for kilo is, what, $2.50? That is crazy. I also learned how to make salsa and guacamole the Mexican way, and believe me, this is not the last time I'll be making these foods. I hope that you learned something today and that you enjoy cooking as much as I do and learning new cultures and culinary arts. And I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good night. Adios.